Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Jesse Boats from the 19 Toll. I've got hole 9 here for the Expert Division, and I'm going to show you how to play this power curl shot with an APOC. I use an APOC 5 here in this example, but I believe you could also use a 6 or 7, uh, and possibly a 4. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line our shot up here with our APOC, and I just play a specific spot that I line my shot up here. With this wind, we go full top spin and left spin. And what we're looking for is to line our shot up with this shadow. Um, as you can see, we have this shadow right here, and we want our ball guy going straight through the shadow, uh, pointing out this way. Uh, and that is being done at full OP, uh, and then we will release. So with this wind 10.4, we're using full top spin and left spin, which would be max left spin and six top spin. Uh, from this point right here, you know, we're just going to use our full curl on the shot, uh, full OP, and then we are going to fully hook the shot around the trees. You're going to see it come in real nicely, bounce off the center of this fairway, and get a really nice second bounce. Uh, you could either do it like I do right here, or the ball may hit the rough and roll through. It is important that if you get higher winds, don't use the full amount of topspin because your ball will roll through uh, into that bunker. Uh, if you end up in the rough or the bunker on this shot, you can make it still to that second pad. I would not recommend trying to bounce it to the green. Just get yourself to that pad in front of the green uh, and then go with a wedge shot to the hole. So as you see here, we have a guardian uh, shot here. You could probably play um, a sniper as well if you chose to. The play on this shot is to use backspin uh, at a, a pretty decent amount. I think the best way to play this hole is definitely to land it up in this front section of the fairway. Um, once you get here towards this middle section, there is kind of a slope uh, that will bounce your ball up at a higher trajectory. Uh, and that will not be good because you want the ball to come in flat. You want the ball to hit on the green and then stop and then hopefully roll into the hole. You do also want to avoid bouncing off this um, fringe section because it does slope uphill as well so it will actually bounce your ball up uh, as well. So it's kind of important to use your full backspin um, and land that shot at the green to give you a good chance at the albatross. All right, so we'll continue the video here. And you're gonna see me line I shot up here. I'm playing a plus 10%. I play mid adjustment here. It's important to find your mid, your min and your max and then figure out where your shot's gonna land from there uh, and then adjust accordingly. It is a fairly large pool here, so it is actually a two-part pool for me using the take shot button. But if you use a, a crosshair, then you could probably do it in one. We do hit great left here, which definitely costs us big time. I would love to see what this would have done with a perfect. I think we'd have a really good chance. But anyways, it's a great example of how to play this hole. This example here is my back nine. You're going to notice we have a higher level wind, 11.9. So what we're going to do here is we're only going to go with four and a half top spin uh, on this shot. Uh, I do want to make mention uh, as far as the APOX go. Um, this is these shots have been done with the APOX five. Uh, if you're going to use an APOX six, that club has or seven, those clubs have the same distance as the APOX five. So distance wise, you're fine. The difference between the 6 and the 7 compared to the 5, though, is the topspin and the curl amount. So if you are going to use those higher level APOX, definitely make sure to scale back your topspin to this APOC topspin um, adjustment. Also, you're going to need to come off your curl just a tiny little bit, like barely any movement. But, you know, you're going to notice the movement, but not a whole lot. Um, the only other thing that I can mention is the APOC 4. Uh, it has the same curl as the 5, so curl-wise you're fine. Um, top spin, you'll be okay as well, but uh, you will not have quite as much power. It's a 6 yard difference in power between the 4 to the 5, 234 to 240. So if you want to use the 4, I think it'll still work, but I think you're going to need to make sure that you have higher level wind. And I would say, you know, you would want something above 11. Uh, for the shot, just me personally to feel safe. I'm not saying that lower level winds may not work. Uh, they could work as well, and they could get you to a position where you can still get to that pad in front of the hole. Um, you know, if you're in the bunker or if you're in the rough, um, just pack your rough iron or your bunker iron 
with uh, a lot of um, a lot of distance combined with accuracy and ball guide because you really just want to at that point get the shot to bounce to that last pad and then from there it's a very easy uh, a wedge shot to the green into the hole for an eagle but definitely keep that in mind when you are trying to think about whether or not you can play this shot or not uh, and trying to decide well will my APOC 4 be okay will my APOC 6 be okay um, definitely those are great options still and are definitely possible to use here I'm not saying they aren't alright so let's keep on going here as you see we, we did lessen our topspin to four and a half topspin here with 11.9 wind uh, and if I had one in the 12s I'd probably go down a little bit more from that even same lineup middle of the uh, palm tree shadow full curl and hook full over power and you can see this one comes in uh, pretty much the same exactly as my uh, my first attempt we bounce off the fairway and we roll up the fairway could hit the rough on that second bounce and roll out and that'll still be fine you'll have plenty of distance with your guardian or sniper so we have a shot here um, similar to the first one this time though we do aim our shot a little bit farther back on the fairway and that's how I kind of noticed the fact that there's a little bit of a, a slope in the middle part of this fairway and we will actually stop and show you that slope on the landing of the video so we're going with our backspin uh, a little bit over six bars of backspin and you see my second bounce is actually a little bit more on the fringe here this time which was a mistake uh, you can you can see the trajectory of my ball is a higher arc to begin with there compared to the first one we make our adjustment plus 10 percent here and we hit the perfect shot here of course and we get the bounce and I'm gonna go back just a little bit there uh, just enough where you can see that slope you can see that slope in the middle of the fairway right there uh, and we hit there right there on the edge of that slope so that did cause my ball to bounce up uh, at a much higher trajectory uh, than the first time so that's something I noticed when I went back and watched this replay so you want to land your shot farther up in this area right here where you'll have a more consistent bounce and I believe a better chance at the albatross So you see it bounce here. Uh, it comes in at a higher slope, so it does bounce up. And uh, still a very easy eagle putt, though, uh, to end the round. Uh, definitely thank you for joining me on this video. Hopefully it helped you. And if it did, definitely give the video a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, I definitely would appreciate the subscription. And if you would like to receive uh, updates and notifications when I do release new videos or do my live streams, definitely click the bell uh, logo icon and set up your notifications for the channel. I am on other social media outlets. You see those below my logo and you can friend me on those social media platforms. I also have a Facebook group that you can join. It's called Golf Clash the 19th Hole. Uh, it is a great community full of other Golf Clash players that love the game and are definitely there ready to help you grow as a player in the game uh, as well. So thank you very much. Hopefully you all have a good day. And God bless.